how's it going guys? I hope you're having an excellent day. I just wanted to talk to you guys. <sighs> Take you to church a little bit, okay? The 10 Keto Commandments. Let me know if you're catching me live. Let me know if you're catching me on the replay. Um, Where are you listening from? And if you get any value out of this at all, at any point, please pop it on your profile, pop it in a Facebook group, pop it wherever you feel you, somebody needs to hear it. Um, because so many people are doing this whole keto thing, right? And there are some rules, commandments that we need to follow. And if we're not following them, we are not going to have success. So many people have such misconceptions about what keto is. So many people have misconceptions of, you know, where they're at and comparing themselves. So I wrote the top 10 things that you need to know, which are the 10 keto commandments. In order to follow them, you will have success. So like I said, if you guys have any, get any value out of this, please definitely share. If you do share while you're catching me on a live, I'll give you a shout out. How about that? All right, here we go. Let's get right into it. And as we're going along, maybe write in there like what you're not doing and what you're committed to working on going forward because I know these are definitely things that people get confused on and I think this is going to be really really helpful for you guys as well and then if you wanted me to drop maybe a pdf and email it to you um just drop pdf in the comments or send me the commandments <laughs> and I will send you a message We'll connect and um, we'll figure out how to get you that. So, all right, here we go. You ready? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. Give me some hearts and likes. I would appreciate that. And here we go. All right, commandment number one, thou shalt remember your why. Why are you doing the ketogenic diet? Why are you changing from being a sugar burner to a fat burner? You're not going to be able to give up carbs if you're not really remembering why you're doing it in the first place. Sometimes we see these things on TV. Oh, Kim Kardashian lost 50 pounds on the <laughs> ketogenic diet. I'm going to do that starting tomorrow and I'm going to be successful. And you're not successful because you don't know why you're doing it. Yeah, of course, we all want to lose weight. We all want to change our body compositions. We all want to... Um, feel, function, and look our best, but if we don't really have a concrete why, maybe it's because of your kids, maybe it's because of your, you're getting a divorce and you want a revenge body. Um, for me right now, my why is I want to stop being a weakling and start getting some muscles, and I'm committed to my clients. We're doing a 21-day challenge, and I can't cheat on that 21 days because I'm committed to them, so I need to set an example. So that's my why for the next 21 days. And if the challenge sounds good to you, drop challenge in the comments below. We'll connect and talk about that as well. Number two, thou shalt eat clean keto foods, meat, veggies, healthy fats. Who's guilty of eating sugar-free? Who's guilty of drinking Powerade Zero? Who's guilty of eating Atkins bars, Atkins shakes, Premier proteins? No, 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 and no, those are not keto. If at any time you guys are getting value out of this or in your mind's blown, please pop that or pop that in a group, pop that on your Facebook page, tag a friend that needs to hear this. It's super important that we get this message out that sugar free is not keel. <laughs> so you need to stick with the healthy fats, healthy veggies, meats, proteins, those kind of things. That is true keto. Number three, thou shalt check the ingredients not the nutrition labels. So when we, this goes back to my premier protein and my sugar free rant. When you look at a nutrition label and it says Powerade Zero, for example, and it says zero sugar, zero whatever, zero calorie. Well, how did it get that way? Well, it didn't just like be created out of nowhere. It's because there's a lot of chemicals in there. There's, in, there's um, ingredients in there that spikes your insulin that is actually going to kick you out of ketosis. It's going to fill your body with chemicals that haven't been studied long-term or have been studied long-term but are buried and no one's bothered to Google the ingredients. Um, I did this whole breakdown of the premier protein of like what those ingredients are in and I'm like, oh, I can't believe you all drink that stuff. So just because it says sugar-free or just because it says um, we, I did in my 21 day challenge, we did a analyzation of, um, almonds, right? So we looked at salt and vinegar almonds. Oh my God. The, 
malodextrin that's in there and all that stuff on almonds guys so make sure you turn the label over and really just pay attention to um what's going on inside the ingredients please be a read label reader but when we are talking about labels we're talking about the ingredients not so much the nutrition obviously the nutrition counts but I just need to very, very, very be clear on that. Okay, number four, thou shalt drink electrolytes. Who has been guilty of getting the keto flu? Raise your hand. I know when I first started, I had the keto flu. I felt like crap. I had muscle cramps really bad. So somebody suggested for me to get 40,000 volt electrolytes. These are my personal favorite. If you need some information on that, just drop 40,000 volts in the comments. Um, it is amazing, amazing. Uh, electrolyte that knocks the keto flu in three seconds. Um, it's real true ionic minerals. That being said, Powerade Zero, if you flip that label over and read it word for word, it says less than 1% electrolyte. Um, so make sure that you're doing real clean electrolytes. You can also use pink Himalayan salt is really good and then whatever other brand. But again, go back and read those labels make sure that they're not sweetened with things make sure that it's healthy and true keto and if you don't know throw it out when in doubt throw it out that is my awesome <laughs> saying for you okay number five is thou shalt move your body who is guilty of not getting their movement in and i'm not saying that you need to be a gym rat but i am saying that you definitely 1000 percent need to be moving that booty so if you're having trouble getting your movement in, I need you to consider something. Consider taking the stairs, consider parking way far away before you go grocery shopping. Um, you know, really just, if you're doing laundry, start pushing the laundry basket up and down. Um, if you're sitting on the couch, you know, do leg lifts or something like that. There's tons of exercises out there. If you need help with exercise, drop exercise in the comments. Maybe I can get an expert in here to help you. I know a few, they're amazing. And we can teach you guys how to do lazy people, um, exercises. If that sounds awesome for you. Um, number six is, uh, thou shalt be easy on the dairy, right? Dairy is hard to process for a lot of people. It causes, um, inflammation issues. It causes bloat. Um, it's just really hard to digest in the body. So as it's digesting, um, it just takes a lot longer. And, you know, because you're trying to lose weight, it could stall you. Some cheeses, processed stuff have like potato starch in there. Again, goes back to the reading ingredients. You really just have to pay attention to what you're doing, how often. Um, I use a little bit of feta here and there, and I don't really use, um, a lot of cheese. I would, when I first started, this was a huge mistake for me. I was making a lot of those taco shell cheese things and guys it's okay don't fear it all the time but be very aware and honest with yourself like if you're doing taco shells every single night and eating a bag of cheese every day how are you going to get to your health goal um you have to watch those kind of things so if you're with me on that drop a little cheese emoji emoji in the comments below um number seven is thou shalt fast who practices intermittent fasting drop a little imf in the comments below i do intermittent fasting and i do long-term fasting for 60 hours, I'm a certified 60 hour reboot coach. Um, I coach people through that kind of thing. If that's something you would be interested in, just drop 60 in the comments below. Intermittent fasting is really good. What this is, is when you shrink your eating window, don't eat past 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. and then you eat again in the morning, you've got a good 12, however many hours, you have to make the decision on what works for you. Um, you have a good window of eating and when you stop eating past a certain time it gives your body that digestive break that it needs it gives your body a chance to repair while it's sleeping versus having to digest everything and um you really just set yourself up for success when you go to sleep and then when you wake up in the morning maybe have a bulletproof coffee um and extend your time where you would eat breakfast normally in the morning um i will also touch on eat when you're hungry stop when you're full um there's no need to eat three times a day. Just really practice fasting, long-term fasting if you can. Um, really fasting starts this process in your body called autophagy. It's self-cleaning. It cleanses your system of damaged and uh, cancerous cells, possibly precancerous cells. It really just helps your body just reset, repair, um, whether you're doing intermittent fasting or longer term. Um, number eight is thou shalt drink water. Who is guilty of not drinking water? Drop me some water emojis in the comments below. Uh, I don't drink enough water. That is one thing that I am 
challenged with and I'm learning and I hope everybody here would hold me accountable. Um, ask me how much water I've drank. It's something that I definitely need to work on. If you're not hydrated, if you're not replenishing your <laughs> H2O, you're not gonna be able to have your body process and the things that it needs to correctly. So you really just need to hydrate. Um, number nine, make sleep a priority. Thou shalt make sleep a priority, right? If you're not sleeping, you aren't resetting. If you're not resetting, you're not repairing. And if you're not repairing, you're not losing. So your body needs to have this good cycle of sleep. So me being exposed to this huge lamp right now and it's 8.30 is telling my body like I'm supposed to be awake right now, but I'm actually supposed to be winding down, which I will hear in a little bit, but we're exposed to all these electronics. We're exposed to these <laughs> ring lights. We're exposed to our kitchen lights, our house lights. Um, but we really need to make sleep a priority by shutting all of this stuff down. Start telling your body, okay, it's dark outside now. I need to start having a dark here. So it tells my body I need to slow down and get ready for bed. Um, so definitely making sleep priority is definitely number nine. All right, and number 10, thou shalt be patient and not compare your journey with someone else's. Mind blown, mic drop, right? Okay. Fat doesn't shrink overnight. Your journey is your journey. You didn't get to where you were over a three week period. So we need to just cut ourselves a break, right? You're, well, a lot of people message me and say, well, I'm not losing weight. Well, there's a lot of factors, but they say, well, my friend lost 17 pounds in one day. Okay, well, there's a lot of factors that go into that too. You're comparing two different things, two different people. Um, my friend, Coach Rob DeBoer, he said to me something that was amazing. Two identical twins could be having the exact same process, completely different, same diet, um, and one could have emotional stuff going on, one could have different metabolic processes, and it doesn't matter. So stop comparing yourself. Compare-itis is an ugly disease, nobody wants it. If you feel me on that, drop a thumbs up or something like that. Can we be all accountable and commit to ourselves that we're not gonna compare, we're going to understand what our why is, and we're gonna just keep our heads down and be on our own journeys, and just be patient. Your body doesn't know a time, it doesn't know whether you fasted for, well, 24 hours, 50 hours, like there's no hourly clock on your body. It's gonna do what it needs to do when it needs to do it, so please just be very, very, very patient. Um, all right, so that is the 10 keto commandments if you got any value out of this please pop this on your profiles please share it with some friends show it to people and this applies to anything guys it has nothing it's everything to do with keto because we all here are trying to learn the ketogenic lifestyle however let's remember that this can apply to anything whether you're doing paleo or atkins or whatever throw away the label just really make sure you're eating clean keto foods you're paying attention to your nutrition um labels, make sure that you're moving your body, you're drinking electrolytes, you're getting sleep, you're fasting, is all applies to no matter what lifestyle you're doing. And if you feel like you need some accountability, if you need a group where we can just hold each other accountable, we're not gonna yell at you if we have Chipotle burritos, cause that is just uh, my thing. I can't help it. I'm not doing it for 21 days, but we're not gonna carb police you. We're gonna cheer you on. If you wanna join our keto club, drop keto club in the comments. We would love to have you. And that is all I got for you today. I hope you guys got some value out of this. Um, I love you so much and I will see you on the next video. Bye.